You might want to take a swig of some alcohol. I always have one of these on my desk at all times. They're really helpful for videos like this. I found this crime scene tape, so I, you know, tore tore off a big section, chucked it in the trunk, and drove off. It smells a little bit like dead meat for some reason. I don't know why, so I'm just washing it. This is how to rinse off crime scene tape. It's a tutorial. Please give me views. I almost forgot to uh, make a opening for this video. Hey YouTube, this is Sergeant Blockbuster, and today I'm showing you a uh, crime tape crime scene tape tutorial. Alright, now we have the crime scene tape. It's dried off now. I had to leave it outside for about a day. Important, this is authentic crime scene tape from an actual crime scene. Most likely a murder scene, because I think someone died around there recently. It's way cooler when you get authentic used crime scene tape. Don't don't just buy it off, off the internet, that's lame. So next up, you're gonna wanna take the crime scene tape as you can see, it got torn off here from when I was shoving it in the car. Take your sharpest pair of scissors. See, these scissors are good. This is the type of scissors I would use, you know, to, like, cut a sea urchin spike out of my foot. So, these will do just fine. You want to take it at a good spot. Like, maybe cut the company logo off, because, you know, them company noobs want to put their name on a crime scene. So, you just cut it like that. Here, let me try to get in the light so you guys can get a, a better look at it. All right, you take here. Now you're gonna wanna cut it on the exact opposite side. All right, we have our first piece. You can do this, this is great for uh, Halloween parties. Gifts, I'm gonna give some to my friends and my brother as well. You could, you see I got like, I don't know, 10, 20 feet here, so I could cut, make a lot of these. Okay, you can make a bandana out of this. I'm going to hang it up above the, the wall of subscriber awards. Maybe up here would be a good spot. Hey, I have the camera propped up on a Minecraft torch right now so you guys can see what's going on. Oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. Take some scotch tape. Line it up right about there. Then you fold it over and push the tape on the inside parts. Perfect. Nice. If you want to add on to this joke. This isn't a joke, by the way. I'm going to leave this on my desk for the rest of my life. I'm not even joking. So you just take a nice Coke bottle full of bullet shells. You see that? Just take some... Okay. Then what you want to do, you want to put some of these on the ground. These I fired off myself. So you just put some of those on the ground, maybe outside. Then you just put this stuff on the door. For, to make this video more funny because it's just a tutorial, make sure your fly is unzipped so then people think you did it by accident. So now, when your parents or friends come home, they're gonna see this and they'll be like, wait, is this caution tape? Wait a minute, this is crime scene tape that I accidentally put upside down. And then they're gonna go into the house and see bullet shells on the ground. Maybe, maybe put a, put a couple on my desk, yes. Yes, pretty sweet. MLG gangster tutorial. Then walk a little bit further in the house and maybe put a survival knife on the ground like that. Just place it somewhere and make it look like Someone dropped it. Maybe put the sheath somewhere as well. Make it look like, you know, someone just dropped that in a hurry. Then put a pair of knuckle dusters on your bed. And then a little bit further than that, put a, put, here I got some stuff. Put a pocket knife on the ground, maybe slightly open. Put a uh, Tic Tacs, real cheap. Put a couple of those on the ground. They'll think it's drugs. They'll think it's like some pills or something. Put a Pikachu hat in the mix. Throw them off a little. You can't make it too obvious. Anyways, maybe take a shotgun shell, place it on your PS4 just like so. A little bit further in the house, you're gonna wanna put your wallet on the ground so then they really think you're dead. You wanna put your uh, trusty machete that you keep with you. You know, just like that. 
you don't want to put a glove on the ground like so fill it up with like cotton balls or something make it look like a hand I'm gonna do that in a second get some trusty ketchup spray it on the ground like so you know just like that make it look like something really bad happened maybe smear it around yeah yeah that's how you want it to look that's just the touch man maybe rub your fingers on the wall go like that yes it's just the look I'm an artist I'm an artist you want to get real spicy you could put an actual human rib bone on the ground somewhere in the bag make it look like a serial killer did this this is actually a human rib bone I found this remember in one of the older videos you could put that I don't know maybe tuck it away a little bit make it look like a serial killer like killed someone chopped them up in little pieces put them in bags and we're trying to hide them everywhere that would be pretty funny put a hand grenade somewhere and put a skull with a fedora on it in the toilet put an advertisement to your channel somewhere next to a box of human teeth next you're gonna want to cut out a swear word with some cardboard tape it together like so take the the cardboard tape it to a wall you're gonna want to take a can of spray paint which I hid the label of because I don't want to sponsor them in my video that's how it's done you should be good to go whoever comes in the house they're gonna think a total crime scene bust happened in your house is gonna be a funny prank just make sure this is the most important part behind me that really sells it because if someone walks in here they're gonna think Man, if this guy was alive, there's no way he'd spray paint that on the wall. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.